Hey, Will Healy here. Uh, in my past videos, I've talked about uh, different types of automation connectors and M12A coded connectors, specifically for sensors and devices. But today I want to talk about M12 network cables, okay? And there's lots of different configurations of M12 network cables, and I want to talk about those briefly. So, uh, first of all, uh, M12A coded is used for um, device net networks. And so, um, uh, you really have to, and for CAN bus networks, and so you really have to think about and, and look at those cables and make sure you have the right cable. You can't just pick any old M12 cable. It needs to have five poles. Ideally, will be shielded. So uh, if you're doing CAN bus or device net, it'll look like a sensor cable, but you really should use a CAN bus or device net cable to do that. So um, look in and make sure that it's actually specified to, to run a CAN bus uh, like device net. Now, we don't counter that as much as we used to, right? The the other one is an M12B coded, and an M12B coded just has, if you remember, the coding is just a mechanical thing that allows you to either plug it in or not plug it in. And so, um, the, with an M12B coded, this is typically used for Profibus. Again, uh, a network that we don't encounter as much anymore, but it is utilized pretty often in Profibus, and Profibus is still one of the most used networks on the planet for, for industrial automation applications. So, if you're using M12B coded, uh, you you got to pay attention, make sure you have the right keyway and uh, that you have an M12 pitch thread. Now, the one that you're probably encountering most now is an M12 decoded, and a decoded is used for an Ethernet cable. And uh, a decoded uh, is typically on the cable male on both ends, which is a little bit different than some of the other cables I've showed you, where it's male on one end and female on the other. Uh, but that's just the way Ethernet works. And this works for EtherCAT and for Profinet and for Ethernet IP and for TCP IP traffic and all kinds of different Ethernets. The standard is M12 decoded. Now, specifically, I'm talking about Ethernet 10100 traffic. If you want to go to gigabit traffic, then you need to go to Ethernet M12 X coded. And X coded looks a little bit different. You could see the X in there. Yeah, you could see the X in there pretty good, huh? And so the X coded actually makes sure that you get all eight wires that are needed for gigabit Ethernet traffic. And so there are some other M12 configurations for high current like L coded and T coded. And unfortunately, I can't find those cables this morning, but uh, there are many different types of M12 uh, connector keyways. And so just because it looks like an M12, you really need to make sure you're using it for the right application for what you're trying to do. So check out your connector and look at it and make sure it's the right one for the application. Uh, and there's lots of different communication cables, but again, X coded for gigabit ethernet and D coded for, uh, for 10, 100 ethernet is the things you're probably going to encounter the most anymore for networking cables that are N12. So until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?